An elementary school in Sussex County is using a new teaching tool that it hopes will spread nationwide. News 12 New Jersey's Sally M. Mosey tells us more about thinking at every desk. Let's see, can we make some distinctions about fish? Welcome to Mrs. Lavalli's first grade class at Green Hills Elementary in Sussex County. A public school in Greendale with about 475 students in kindergarten through 8th grade. How ideas connect? The school is undergoing a massive educational shift, one that the superintendent and principal, John Natolo, hopes will move through the entire country. We have Dr. Cabrera and Cabrera, Derek and Laura, that come to our school, and they work with our teachers and our students on thinking about thinking. That's right, thinking about thinking. These two Cornell-educated experts co-authored the book titled Thinking at Every Desk. In it, the Cabreras outline four simple skills to transform classrooms. What Dr. Cabrera does is it turns back into more of what the students can do for themselves. How to actually break down their own thinking, to look at any situation and then figure out a way to figure it out. Thinking blocks are an important tool. They show me what they're thinking instead of telling me or instead of giving them a test. So is it fun? Yeah. It's a concept that Michaela, who made it extra clear to me is six and three quarters years old, seems to already understand. I asked her what would she do if her friend didn't know the answer. If he didn't know what kind of fish it was, I would tell him, tell him what colors and does it have gills. And then he would start to use his mind and he would know it. Mary Burke drives her son from Sparta every day as part of New Jersey School Choice Initiative. I can't speak to, as to how they're doing this, but he's coming home with a better vocabulary. I don't see a textbook. A textbook does not come home. I don't spend time cramming before a test with him. They're life tools. They're life tools that he can take with him no matter where he goes in life. Tomorrow, we'll visit a third grade classroom as they prepare for the NJS standard testing. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the Cabrera's methods of thinking at every desk, you can watch the complete interview on our website at news12.com. I'm Sally Ann Mosey, News 12, New Jersey. I have to say, I totally love that little girl, Michaela. Totally. totally. Yeah. Awesome. You gotta love the kids. Thinking yes. about the thinking. best people to interview. <laughs> they, they really are, because you never yeah. know what is going to come flying out yeah. of their mouths. It's just great. What do you think about the temperatures? Wait, don't answer that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's happening out there right now. Dr. Zeus book, Oh, the Things You Can Think. Green Hill School in Sussex County is hoping to rewrite how kids do think, and they're hoping it catches on nationwide. This is sometimes where we lose our points. Mr. Martin's third graders are gearing up for their very first NJ Ask, New Jersey's standardized test given to all public school students up until eighth grade. A couple of years ago, the school superintendent and principal, John Natolo, introduced a new concept conceived by the Cabreras. This Ivy League educated couple noticed that their three kids were among the masses learning how to be test takers rather than thinkers. Their book, Thinking at Every Desk, is about applying four simple skills to transform classrooms. I wouldn't even call this, say, a teaching method. In the end, it's not about the teachers teaching a method. It's about what the students learn from this and then can apply it themselves. I guarantee if you wrote this on the state test or on one of my tests, that would be a full credit answer. When we started working with Dr. Uh, Cabrera and Cabrera, we saw a fundamental change in how certain things were going on in our classroom. We want people to be able to see what we're doing here. It could be a model for other people. Literacy coach Tara Rossi says what they're teaching here at Green Hills would be a game changer for schools nationwide. If they could see what's happening here, and if they could get a chance to be a part of this, I think it would change people's perspectives. We've had these concepts, these methods of learning being introduced while still having the format of traditional school, and I think it might be really the, the mesh of the best of both worlds. It is definitely exciting. We're on like a cutting edge here, so and it's very exciting. I don't know if it's gonna work when it comes to testing. We're not going from testing down to thinking. We're starting at thinking, and then we believe that good thinking will turn into good test scores. Thinking at every desk has been part of the Green Hill School for the past couple of years. The NJS standard tests are in May, and while the superintendent's not overly concerned about what the test scores are, he is hoping to see an increase in the test results. 
So very interesting stuff. Yeah. yeah. Some people might think it's similar to like the Montessori, but you're saying that they say absolutely not. Well, I wouldn't say absolutely not, yeah. but uh, you know, a lot of that comparison has been made. But with Montessori, it's open for every age to be in the same classroom. Right. This is the still the normal standards of your kindergarten, your first grade, second grade. So it's divided. So it's somewhat traditional as well. Gotcha. Gotcha. But more All importantly, right. they, teach, they teach the kids how to think, not just teach them how to how, take, how take a test. test. To, yeah. That should be interesting important. to see how they do on the end. They ask though, because at the end of the day. Sometimes right. it's all about the test scores, so we'll uh, see. Right, yeah, unfortunately. Right. Let's yeah. make smart kids, not good test scores. Right. All right, let's check out what's going on, everyone. It's